I'm Pastor Winston. Welcome to 5 Minutes with the Pastor. I have been talking about Ephesians chapter 6, and uh, if you have listened to me over these last few sessions, you will have recognized I really haven't stepped into every single bit of the armor of God, we have, starting from verse 10. I have only emphasized a few of the items, such as, one, we must be strong in the power and the might of God. I have recognized and spoken about the fact that we wrestle, not against flesh and blood, we talked about wrestling. I spoke about the fact that the Word of God in verse 17, the sword of the Spirit, is very important for us to understand its significance. But then I want to let you touch something that maybe you know or maybe not. That we have talked about several things here uh, as far as the armor. We have talked about the helmet of salvation. For example, if you read through it, we haven't spoken about it in this session, but or in these sessions, but we know that these things, as the Apostle Paul wrote them, do exist and they are available to us. But there's one item of weaponry there that a lot of times we tend to overlook. And if we read down past the 17th verse, let's go to the 18th verse. It says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. My friends, you see, this issue or this topic of prayer is absolutely significant. Prayer, and if you have read one of my latest newsletters, you'd have seen where I spoke about tenacious, resilient, um, pit bull kind of prayer. Because what we like to do, and what we've become accustomed in doing, is to exercise microwave praying. That, that is, we get together and say, you know, um, one, two, three, four, amen, in the name of Jesus, and so let it be, and it's done. But if you look throughout the history of the church and the men of God, there are times when they have prayed for hours and the result did not manifest itself until three or four or five hours of prayer or longer. But we now, in our day and time, we expect things to happen at the snap of a finger. So just snap the finger and it's done. Snap the finger and the answer materializes. And so, I don't know if you remember that old show that we used to watch um, on television many years ago, but it was the name of it was Bewitched. She would just, you know, twinkle her nose or, or move her little finger, and whatever it is that her desire was would manifest or disappear, whatever it was, it would materialize immediately. But my friends, here is the issue. We ought to know that God and His Word tells us that prayer, prayer is important. We ought to pray and continue to pray and continue to pray and continue to pray. We ought to press into prayer at every moment. We ought to press into prayer at every juncture, in every circumstance, in every challenge. Even when we feel good and there is not an issue that we believe is confronting us, pray. Tenacious prayer resilient prayer, pressing in prayer. It's not just a matter of saying a few words. It's not just a matter of just, you know, um, our Catholic brethren saying a few Hail Marys. Uh, it is a matter of taking time to earnestly, the fervent prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. The fervent doesn't mean a five-minute prayer. You know, it doesn't mean a 10-minute prayer. Sometimes, as I said, it means an hour of prayer. It means truly taking time to press into God in a way that we may have never pressed into Him before. If we are not seeing answers to prayer, why don't you try? Why don't you join us sometime in our nighttime, our half-night prayer sessions, our all-night prayer sessions, and begin to practice and develop, develop your ability you know, your stamina in prayer, and let the Spirit of God truly carry you into what you need to earnestly bring God's will and purpose to a reality in your life. Remember, this is Five Minutes with the Pastor, and we certainly appreciate you joining us and sharing with us this evening. God bless you. Amen.